So, hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ants Portugal here, and what you're seeing right in front of you is my aquarium and also my new background for my videos. So, um, hello, face reveal, this is me. And um, today I want to talk about a few things. First of all, this here aquarium of mine, and second, the direction that the channel is going to be taking. So, now I'm on summer holiday, which means I'll be putting a lot of more a lot more time into my videos. So first I can do stuff with video and actually record myself and my ant colonies, my fish, my reptiles, whatever, whatever. And second of all, the channel is going to go into a different direction now, which is I'll not only be focusing solely on ants, I'll be focusing on all my hobbies, which I mean animal related hobbies which are ants, fish, reptiles and I'd say plants, but plants is also coming um, coming with fish, ants or reptiles, you know, it's in the in the setup preparation or or habitat creation. Right? So I think we'd start with fish and aquarium. So first of all this is the only aquarium I own right now. I live with my parents and um, it's it's kinda hard for me to to have everything I wish I wanted because it's well it's whatever but I do what I do and I get what I get and I'm very very lucky to have what I can have and what I have right now so I'll, I'll introduce you to my my African cichlid aquarium if you're keen on that you'll be you'll be able to tell that this is um, mostly Malawi cichlids both Mbuna and non Mbuna uh, which means I have both herbivores and carnivores in here and I, I feed them uh, basically 50-50 diet of greens and, and meat and they seem to do alright, I feed them a variety of stuff and uh, no one has gotten diseases related to diet uh, I'm usually very good with the diet of, of, my, of my fishes and I can do a couple of videos focusing on that I can also do a couple of videos on tips and tricks on everything about aquariums because uh, I want to do that and I, I think what I have to share is quite relevant. So I'll do that but today is just to introduce you to what I have here, alright? So I, I had this aquarium for a very long time, this is a 2000 liters aquarium, that's something something gallons, go google that. And um, something that probably caught your eye is this, this is just a filter uh, that I can uh, stick on or take off from the, the big pump over there and I just use that to clean the water after I feed them which I fed them about half an hour ago and that, that filter has been running for half an hour and I usually run it for one entire hour after each feeding which normally happens twice a day but sometimes I don't even feed in the in one day but um, the fish can handle it especially these ones they're big now and I've bought them all in the same week, not in the same day because I cannot carry that ma that many bags, but I bought them all in the same week, all from the same fish store, and I bought them all at almost the same age. They were all babies, no one was adult, and that's that's how you want to buy cichlids. Because cichlids can be very territorial if they get to have a territory. So, But if you put a lot of them at once in the same aquarium, especially if they're young, they have no way of settling on territory, which means they have a super low aggression. Especially if there, if there are as many males as I've got right here. I got lucky and I got a lot of males. So um, basically, the females just get out of the way, and the males fight between the, each other, and it's fine because the the aggression can be dispersed through the number of of males that I have. Now I have a clearly dominant uh, male. But he got, uh, he w he was in an accident just this morning. He's behind there. He's behind the slates right there. So when he comes out, you can see him. He ca he changes color quite a lot during the day, and more to the evening. That's when he performs some some nuptial rituals, and he just he just turns almost pale white in the in the big stripes, and almost almost purple in the the smaller stripes. The yellow gets very vibrant and very light. And he just goes from up here to the sand, just vibrating his body to show off to the females. Um, he does that a lot, and he's the dominant male. He eats the most, he, he fights the most, and he just... He's just, you know, the, the alpha male. 
Um, also, um, that big guy over there. No, that's yeah, that's this guy. This guy. This guy. This is the biggest one of the group. He's not very dominant, very dominant because he's not very aggressive in nature. But he does show off to that female over there, which is of the same species, and he's not really interested in any other female. He's like a, a mono monogamous guy. I don't know. Uh, the other guy is a complete uh, Chad. He's just he's an absolute Chad. He just he gets whatever he can. Um, so I've never had any breeding inside, but it's it's just to expect. They're still they're still young. Uh, still, they're 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 mature. They could reproduce now, but it's not normal for them to reproduce at this age. They still have quite a growing to to do. Now you can see his eye; he's quite damaged. That's because of the accident he was in. Just this morning, he got stuck in that filter over there while I was well while I was putting the the water bottle in, um, and I got him out, and he's he's doing fine now. I thought I'd lost him, but I, I didn't. So I've got a lot of fish in here, and I, I seriously cannot go over all the species because I do not remember them. But um, I don't think that's important for this video. What I wanted to do is introduce you to the fish, which is now done. I hope you don't get too distracted by them, and I hope the camera is focusing on me. Um, now, I want to talk about setup. And to talk about the setup and the aquascape of this tank, I have to firstly talk about what was in this tank before the sequence. I had a tank that was set up for a community and planted aquarium and I had a beta, I had rainbows, I had discus, I had skull, I had angelfish, I had uh, guramis, I had rainbow, uh, I said rainbows already, I had tetras, I had a lot of stuff, very beautiful stuff and I had a big equilibrium with plants, fish, whatever, the plants were thriving, the fish were thriving, the discus, the discus were getting enormous and beautiful and I had some signs of pairing but then you know disaster struck uh, algae came and what came was black beard algae and if you know black beard algae you know how much of a problem it can be so it started to get to take over all the aquarium and I, I had to do something I started with a light treatment that turned all my water brown and supposedly burned away the algae and I spent I had spent almost a month with just the water being completely black and completely brown and I, I could not I could, almost I couldn't see the fist the fish and the plants were getting almost no light so the, the the plants were starting to die off and I had just this block of brownness in my bedroom where once stood a beautiful glorious aquarium and I just couldn't stand the side of that, so I decided to go for it. And I, I took, I had patience, I took a month of that. And then I decided, okay, let's do a more vigorous, radical approach. I bought, I bought a, a had a, had a heating uh, product, and I, I put it in a water bottle with a little bit of tank water, dissolved it, and then lowered the water to about right here. Oh, sorry guys. And I sprayed all the all the algae with that, and I I let it soak for a while. Well, not here. That would be dumb. The thing, the the discus would drown, but like a little bit below half. Um, so I did that, and when I came back, uh, everything was dead. You see, the the fault is not of the company. The fault is mine. Totally my fault. I had left some of the. I probably didn't rinse the spray bottle quite good enough, and and it was uh, a window cleaning, a uh, glass cleaning product, which is especially harmful for wildlife. And it just destroyed all my fish. Everything was dead. The battle was alive because it can breathe air, but um, everything else was just dead. Uh, some of the catfish survived. And every, every fish that survived I gave away, all the points I threw in the, the garbage because I couldn't stand the sight of them. And I spent almost an entire weekend inside my, my bedroom just cleaning it all and throwing everything away. And I had the fish in little buckets and I gave them to my fish store again. So um, basically I, I cleaned everything to the point where it seemed like it had just come back from the store. It seemed like I had never ever set up the tank at all. And I just had an empty tank inside my bedroom for another month. 
and that really hurt my my hobby you know I started being very careless with the ants and uh, because that's that's all I had at the time but then I realized that you know all right I'll, I'll I can have this glass box in my room and I decided to do an ant setup you know I had I had planned a big natural ant setup to do here but then I remember how I always wanted to have cichlids I, African cichlids has always been has always been what I, I truly wanted to have because I love their their aggressiveness their attitude their their behavior uh, and I, I just never could get my head around it because I thought they were pretty hard to maintain uh, but turns out they're not and I never I never really researched them I had I had a lot of knowledge in every single other fish type I, I know a lot about salt world even though I find it too too time consuming to to do in my current lifestyle and I decided all right now that I know about cichlids and now that I know how easy they are to keep I'll, I'll keep them I bought some I bought them all at the same time and here I am six months later and this is my fish tank and also the background for most of my videos for now on I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward for some fish fish keeping videos and I'm trying to diversify my to diversify my channel and that's all see you later bye bye